Hey y'all, we're gonna show y'all how to do tomato trellises. They also work for cucumbers, melons, cantaloupes, pole beans, I guess. Whatever else you want to trellis, it'll work for. But this is how we do it. Oh, let me introduce. So we have Tyler here, Isaac, their brother-in-laws. We're farming on their land. We're gonna introduce you to their family probably in another video, the rest of their family. But we're gonna do a how-to tomato trellis right now with a cattle panel. So, and these guys have never done it before. So I'll show them while I'm showing y'all. So, like I said, we're gonna set them at 18 inches off the ground. Or did I say that? No, I told y'all that, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you told us that. So they know we're gonna set them at 18 inches off the ground. And the cattle panel is four foot, so that gives us five and a half feet of height for our tomatoes. Your tomatoes don't need to be trellised until they're at least two feet tall, typically. So we're going to go 18 inches, which is here. Isaac, if you want to take this to that end and put it at 18 inches, and Tyler can pick it up on this end, go to the next one down. Next one, Isaac. Oh, next one? Yep, because it won't bend in the middle. Yeah, that's right. Yep, and Josiah, you can hand me... These are like $3 per hundred at Harbor Freight. They're just plastic wire ties. I call them zip ties. So if you pick it up to here, Tyler, and Isaac's got his in right in there, and I will just pull it up against the T-post, zip tie it, and it actually, these things last well over a year believe it or not we just zip tie it on I put three t-posts in the ground and it doesn't have to be the t-posts don't have to be tall these things are super rigid and super tough as I'm sure Tyler's finding out they're a pain to bend aren't they and this is pretty much it I usually put about three zip ties per t-post and it'll hold tomatoes all summer long like this and when we when we secure our tomatoes to it we use zip ties again because I can have them however long I can connect a couple of them together if I'm putting it together where it's a big bushy part of the tomato or tighten them all the way down because you can put these together to make them however big you want and it works really good so we just do the whole row like this I'm just gonna put one right here, Isaac, because we'll do the next cattle panel. And then we'll connect overlap it and roll on that way with it. So we'll do the other one on the rest of this row. If y'all want to grab the cattle panel. Let me have another zip tie just there. Hey Hopi. Carry this to that T-post so as it can measure the height. Here you go. Right in there. Mm -hmm. Or Tyler's going to measure it on that end. All right. <laughs> Hope he didn't help you much, did she, Tyler? 18. Yes, sir. Broke off. Thank you. We have lots of helping hands here. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting this garden to go fast when we're planting and stuff, because we have lots of people and many hands make light work. Excuse me, Jacob. Y'all can take Tyler a couple zip ties to your side. You got one more, Jacob? No, I don't. Give me one, Hopi. So the hardest part about this is driving the T-post. So if you have a teenager, that's a good job to give them. I just pull a string in a straight line, and it's for one cattle panel, it's three T-posts. For two, you can do five because the middle they break on the same, the third T-post. I connect them together right here. And I will put one here to tie these together up at the top. You can see they're so far apart. 
now they're together. Zip ties are amazing. Yes. Aren't they? You mm -hmm. think so, Elizabeth? Uh-huh. Me too. There we got three. Tyler's got three. Okay. Well, there you have it. This is Elizabeth, mm -hmm. Tyler's little girl. Mm -hmm. So we have two cattle panel trellises, which equal 32 feet. We do the tomatoes 18 inches apart, so we can run 21 tomatoes, I think, per 32 foot run of trellises. Yeah, we stagger them. We don't plant them directly across. We'll do like one here and stagger the next one on this side and then over here and work them away across that way because it makes them a little bit farther so the roots don't get tangled up. They're not fighting for nutrition from the soil. So, all right, that's how you do it. Pretty quick, very simple, um, and it works really well. Like I said, this trellis works for tomatoes, cucumbers, melons, cantaloupes, pole beans, anything that needs to be trellised. You can adjust the height. We just do 18 for the tomatoes because it seems to work best. We can get more height up here because they don't need it to be trellised until they get taller. So that's how we do it. We're going to do a bunch of these, aren't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. About yeah. eight more, I think. Eight more? Yep. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you learned something here. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button on this video and leave a comment below. Let us know what you've got going on what your thoughts are on what we have going on. So we will catch y'all in the next video.